Yo, what up? It's your boy Flex G7 for G7 Games, and I'm bringing you a new video today, a new live stream. We're gonna be checking out two mysteries in the game of Red Dead Redemption 2. We're gonna be starting off with the first mystery. We're gonna be hunting down a killer, a serial killer, and they're gonna be checking out and checking out uh, and trying to find, actually, not checking out, but trying to find and solve the mystery of the Vampire of St. Denis. We're going to try to find the Vampire of St. Denis, as we heard rumors about. And right now, first, we're going to try to um, hunt down a serial killer. Let's go, girl. And there's rumors that locally, there are some dead bodies being found. And we're going to go check it out. So first place we're going to go to is going to be... We're in Valentine right now. So this first mystery to find this serial killer is around this area in Valentine. So you want to start off there. We're gonna go. I have all the map locations marked. We're gonna go to the first one. No, why it's doing that. We're gonna go to the first location here. Check out my ambient markers there. Citadel Rock. So again, we're in Valentine right here. You want to start off there, probably possibly if you want to. Uh, Find the, f the closest lo the closest location to this um to the first to the first location of where this uh, mystery is gonna start. Uh, there's no particular order where you have to go to these locations. Just go to these locations. Then it's gonna um uh make the final uh, location pop for the end of the mystery. I have not done this before. I haven't seen any of this yet. This is one of the first murder mysteries they've talked about in the game. Red Dead Redemption 2, but I haven't done this yet, so I have no clue on what's going to happen. I do have all the locations marked, so during this video, make sure if you want to pause, rewind, fast forward, and get the locations as we go. I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna have, I am already have them marked, and every time you hit a location, I'm going to bring up the map so everybody else can, everybody can see in the video. Again, if you're on YouTube, make sure you pause and screenshot the location or whatever you want to do. So the first location for our first mystery here on G7 Games... Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 mystery solved. They're trying to solve some mysteries. We're going to be checking out a serial killer. Uh, the serial killer. Again, we got some rumors. There's some uh, dead bodies lying around. We're going to go investigate this. So our, for our first investigation spot, it's going to be right here. Citadel Rock right across from Caster's Ridge or Pastor's Ridge. I'm not sure which one what that says, but it's right here. So we're going to go to this marker. It's way pointed up again. It's your boy Flexi7, Red Dead Redemption 2, and we're trying to solve some mysteries here in the game. Some really cool mysteries, and the first mystery is trying to find the serial killer that I've heard is in this game. Some very gruesome stuff I've been hearing from rumors. Location in this first murder mystery. I'm live. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to hit that like and like and subscribe to the channel today and check out more Red Dead Redemption 2 videos in my playlist Red Dead Redemption 2 for a lot more Easter eggs, um, hidden hidden objects, we got some hidden, we got some uh, rare weapons, stuff like that. So make sure to check it out today for more Red Dead Redemption goodness. But right now we're going to solve some murder mysteries. First solve some mysteries and the first mystery is serial killer mystery. And I think we already have something here. I see something right in front of us. We're going to pick up the map. And exactly where we have it marked. South of Valentine. Left of Citadel Rock. It's going to be the first clue to solve this murder mystery. So let's see if we can pick up Eagle Eye there. No Eagle Eye, but I do see something on the floor here. It's red. And we have a leg. Which is not a good sign. So our first clue is a leg there. Let's keep moving up here. We have something there on the map. And here we go, our first clue is a bloody corpse hanging by its arms, hanging upside down it looks like. Right there, let's go in first person and see this real quick. Oh yeah, hanging by his arms, bloody corpse, half, half the body hanging there. Let's keep it moving. Again, this is obviously f something we found here, stumbled upon in the first location. Got some guts over here. Looks like maybe, maybe some rope. Look at that guts. I'm sure, this has to be some kind of clue. If 
focus on stranger be something else here to help us find out here we go we got a uh, got a head here again let's show the location one more time Just so if you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching live if you're trying to take down these uh, locations for a guide oh look on my works so we got that clue over there let's go in first person and see that look on my works and let's go to the map real quick so we make sure we get the final locations right here Citadel Rock right underneath the railroad it's exactly where I'm at right there you see the X for the bloody for the corpse come down here to see look at my works let's try to look at all the uh, look at everything we have down here this killer obviously wants everybody to see what he does and he's uh, doing something good look at that damn very vicious very brutal scene here let's finally get to the I think this is what you gotta do inspect the note now we gotta end poor bastard I couldn't say it better myself John oh so we got a piece of map here let's zoom in it's one first piece of the map and that's what you're gonna find killer clue one piece so with the first piece of the killer clue map or the killer's map in the severed head there so this was the first piece first clue collect the matching torn map pieces to uncover the mystery so it's the first part of the mystery again I show the the exact spot where this is going to be is me again this you don't have to go this does not have to be in order but this is the first spot we're at again across to the left of Citadel Rock south not too far from Valentine right there you see my marker exactly where I'm standing again I'm gonna leave it right here in case you want to pause and get a screenshot or if you want to just memorize it first spots right there let's keep it moving again so we found the first clue to the murder mystery very gruesome scene there this guy is probably some bad news but we're gonna find out here that's what we're here for so we're here to find this out and see how this goes down so again I have not seen the outcome to this But I'm very interested to see what happens. Very interesting. So we got like a dr drop off here. We got going on here. Let the maneuver around a little bit. Let's see what I'm on here. There's another railroad track. Supposedly our next location is here. Let's get off and investigate. We got going on down here, and I'm not sure if you can, see, you can get these clues with Eagle Eye, but I think there's something over here. Let's see here. So far, nothing in this location. Uh oh, here we go. I think we have something here. Oh, how'd I miss that? How'd <laughs> I miss this guy, dog? Ah! Anyway, we're not here for that. We're here for this. Whoa! Ooh, another severed head with a map inside his mouth. Let's see what else we got over here before we check that out. We got my ancient tomahawk bag that I missed. Do you see? We have another mysterious writing. Do you see? Whoa! Another mangled body, decapitated head, torso pulled off, blood everywhere. Again, I'm gonna mark the map location exactly what I'm looking at. You see what I see here. Do you see? We are seeing. It's the second location in this murder mystery. Right to the right of Shepherd's Rise, exactly where I'm standing right there, you see a X to mark the corpse. Again, I'm going to back up a little bit. If you want to 
take a screenshot of this or remember this if you have a good memory for the second location second clue to this murder mystery we're trying to find whoever's doing this again to the right of Shepherd's Rise south of Wallace Station that's a good picture right there of the map location and let's go back out and let's find out what happened here obviously another dead body another severed head let's expect this note Another one of these. Oh, yeah, another one. Lord. We need to see all those rocks. When you see all those rocks there, that's where we're going to look for this dead body. Another map location there. You find. I didn't even check the other one. Let me see where this is on the satchel. Killer clue. Killer piece. Killer second piece for this uh, mystery collector remaining missing map pieces. Let me see what the first one said. Um, here goes a part two. Killer, let's see what this was in the back. I didn't read the back of this one. Me, you find me. Looks like. All right, it's gonna show. It looks like those pe the pieces of the map are gonna show where to find him. And that was the second piece. I believe there's another third piece. Let's open up. Let's open up the map here, find the third piece. Again, the second piece was right here. Again, there's no order you need to do these, and you can do this any order you want, but we're going just by the order I'm going through right now. Uh, so we have that one. There's another one. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one's all the way down here, actually. I should have came here first. All the way down by the Braithwaite Manor. So it took, a little, took, it took us a little bit to get there. We might, I might take a stagecoach to Rhodes. So let's go to Strawberry real quick, take a stagecoach to road. We're getting close to finding this killer, this serial killer who's been doing some nasty stuff. We're here in Rhodes now. And we're going to go to the next location, which is going to be the Braithwaite Manor. All the way down here. Well, not all the way. Well, it was all the way down there. Not that too far now. Let's go down there. And let's keep this investigation rolling with your boy John Marston and your boy Flex C7. Hey, you move out the darn way. Get a nice little casually ride through roads here. Going towards Braithwaite Manor, one of my least favorite places in the game. It's just creepy down there, man. Let's keep it moving here. It's getting dark now, so it's getting a little scarier. Especially in the Brave Fate Manor, you know, it's not a good place to be at when it's dark. Again, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to uh I don't know why I'm going this. We're gonna try to handle BI and not get distracted. So much coming. Hey, y'all can y'all can y'all can be good on my ball then y'all? I have bigger fish to fry than y'all outlaws. You got a killer to find. Here we go. Ooh, dark. Here we go. We got a dark area. I'm not quite sure where it's supposed to be. Oh shit. Oh, mother. Damn, boar. <laughs> really? I actually think I had me look at the map again. It's a little further down. So I'm kind of in the wrong location. It's further down here. Uh oh, yeah, I see something right there. You can already see it from here. That odd looking tree, that doesn't look good. And you get the little. You get the marker on your map letting you know there's something there, so let's go check this out. 
Another bird. Here we go. Wow. Let's... So you get another X on the map. You got this already lit up. Behold. Another bot dead body. Arms hanging. Bottom half severed. Heads gone. Lamp lighting it up. Let's check out the map location again. To the to the right of Braithwaite Manor, to the left of uh, the church here, on board Boger uh, Blade. You see where the damn board just ran me over. So exactly where I'm standing is on the S of Meadows. So on the S of Meadows is where you're gonna find it in the S. It looks like. So again, I'm gonna leave it up right now so you can find the location. You can screenshot it or you can just put it in your memory banks. It's a third location for the killer's clue. And now, behold, let's get a first person view with this. Whoa! Yeah, pretty gruesome stuff there. He was really doing some damage, this guy. You gotta do something about this, man. So let's try to find the next clue. Wherever the severed head's gonna be. Get my lamp out here so I can see. I see a lot of blood and guts everywhere. Here it goes. This tree in particular is pretty crazy looking. Let me go back and look at the tree again. Like, look at this tree. He picked the right tree to do it in. Anyway, I seen a severed head on this side to the right or behind the tree, I guess. Another severed head, another note. Let's get it. I think he's smoking a cigar. Gotta be related. I just flipped the back. Can find me if you can. It looks like it reads. It's a combination. And there goes where you get to find them. Let's put this away. Third piece. Third clue place together map so it looks like we have all three pieces of this map that the killer's been leaving around and stand here and look at it Let's see what this says here so we got all pieces of the map connected there's three pieces the three locations we showed you I'm gonna flip this whole map and put can you find me I think we can so we're back over I know exactly where this is at, guys, so we're about to find this killer and see what happens. Let's put this away. And I do have it marked on the map already. I previously found this. You might have, might have found this before if you're playing this in story mode, this area. Um, to actually unlock this area's full potential, you're going to have to go to these three steps. And then uh, go here. Lucky's Cabin. I honestly previously been here before and I've uh, kind of explored it a little bit. I didn't know I didn't unlock its full potential, but I guess right now we're about to see what's going down in Lucky's Cabin. I have it marked right here on the marker, but the waypoint, here we go. One last time, we're going to make sure you know where this location is, the third location, Braithwaite Manor. Again, use this video as a walkthrough or a guide. I have... Um, showed every map location so far for all three clues so you know where it's at we have one more location to go which is lucky's cabin it's corner further up so we're gonna make that ride down there again it's your boy flexi 7 red dead redemption 2 we're unlocking uncovering and searching the mysteries of red dead redemption 2 and this is one of the mysteries trying to find this killer who's been leaving this Carnage, this gruesome carnage around, and he wants someone to find him. I'm putting on the jets here. Of course, I got it not that fast, not built for racing or built for speed. It's built for toughness. Built tough. I'm kind of excited. I haven't, uh, Again, I haven't seen what happened. I did get all the um, 
map locations off the internet, so I can't take full credit for that. I did what, go to the internet for that help, but I didn't see what to do. I just got the locations and went to them. And we all seen together on this video what to do and how to do it. And here we go. We have a white circle there, or a white outline, or you want to call it a white spot shadow, or you want to call it. I think Lucky's cabin is right around here. Here we go, yeah, I'll just stop right here. I will bring up the map location in a few seconds. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm not sure why that says that there. Okay, hold on. Kind of like, oh, yeah, it's right here. So, the Heartlands, New Hanover. We're gonna mark this on the map. You see already where Lucky's cabin is. It's lit up with a question mark. Stranger, American Dreams. It's the final spot. S uh, southwest of Valentine, Lucky's cabin. And we're gonna see what happens here. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to uh, fast forward, rewind if you need to, uh, pause if you need to, get a screenshot of these locations. And we're finally here at the cabin, the mysterious stranger. And I'm pretty sure this is the person who's been killing all these damn people, so we're going to see what's going on here. We have something here. What the hell is this? Is this it? I don't believe this is it. Oh, it might be right here. I think it's in here. And here we go. It's down here. The basement doors. It's going to be this rundown cabin. I mean, it's not even a cabin anymore. Here we go. Going down here to see what is popping. Got the combination from the map. Here we go. Explore the basement. Here we go, guys. Ooh. The fuck? Damn, this is pretty gruesome. Skulls everywhere. Mysterious music. Just in case. What? Take some cigarettes from this guy. Oh, we got some cigarettes and we got, I've got a letter here. I expect this letter. We got a cigarette card down here too. I cannot see what this says. At least let me read it out aloud. Dear Mr. Editor, I must say I am alarmed by the paucity of the coverage you August, your August journal has dedicated to my recent killings in the region. The perpetrator of these crimes is clearly a man with, of great intelligence, power, and no small amount of cunning. He presents a clear and present danger to all readers of your publication, and most probably to the writers of it as well. I would suggest you begin to treat him and his creations with the reverence they deserve. God help us all. Yours, a concerned citizen. Letter to the editor. Okay, I'm assuming, I'm assuming the... It's the same letter. Is that a different letter? Let's see if it's a different letter or the same letter. It's a different letter. Let's read this too. Letter to Edmund from Mother. Oi. Let's see what this shit says. Whew. Here we go. It's not that long. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it out loud. Uh, did my dear Edmund, what has gotten into you of late? Our dinners together, which were once such a pleasure to me have become a terrible strain. You appear at times tired, distracted, fee febrile? feeble, and agitated, and sometimes all of those things at once. It was a mistake for you to have ever moved out of, uh, out of home. 
While I approve of your decision to forego marriage in order to spend more time with me, I did not. Oh, I can't read. If Evisage, Evisage, I can't. It <laughs> it would be this kind of company. I imagine I don't know. It would be a kind of company. Maybe a wife is what you need after all. Your kind neighbor has informed me of your comings and goings from room at all hours of the night. Does this mean there is a close friendship your mother doesn't know about? I hope your taste in companionship has improved from these past years, but I shall keep an open mind. Well, I should like a explanation for all these for all of this from you presently. So a concerned mother. Your loving and concerned mother. PS, I hope you're eating and sleeping and taking the Laudman's Dr. Finkel. The Laudaman. A lot of them? Laudaman? Laudaman? Maybe that's a medicine. Uh, some kind of some medicine. Dr. Finkel gave you. You should improve your nerves somewhat. So in that letter, his mom even knows he's, he's tripping. So, oh shit. Like, I don't even know what else we got going on down here. So we got two letters. One to an editor. One from um, his mom. And other than that, I can't see what's going on in here. Oh, missing girl, Eliza Bloom. Oh, shit, there's more back there. Oh, damn, look at that hit. Oh, look at that. There's a map of New Hanover. That's kind of the map you get in the... Uh... Let's get this light on. I can't see anything. I ain't trying to get beat up. Eliza Bloom, missing girl. He's probably one of the people he killed. Oh, damn, what in the fuck is this? Good lord, man. This nigga is out of his mind. Oh, shit. Expect a knife. We have all kinds of shit. Good. Severed heads. I think that's Eliza Bloom. I don't know. What the fuck? This is crazy, yo. Let's expect this knife. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come for me. Or was this all nasty surprise? Or maybe it's both. Maybe it is a nasty surprise, even though you knew I was going to be here. Which uh -oh. is it? You should think about that. Save yourself thinking about what's about to happen now I'm not going to lie it's not going to be nice oh man this guy's crazy. fun I mean it'll be obviously fun for me but it won't be nice for you fuck this make this fun oh shit okay one hit a quitter he ain't so tough, huh? I'm gonna fucking kill people and dismember people and murder innocent folk. Jaw that fool. Damn, his. Damn, where he. This fucking this guy. I gotta say, it's pretty damn intense down here. This guy is out of his freaking mind. Take the stranger to the sheriff's office. So we caught. It looks like we apparently caught this killer. You seen around his house, his, uh. Whatever the hell this, I wouldn't call it a house. Damn, it's a borderline insanity here. I mean, it is insanity. This guy's definitely nuts. Oh crap! Oops. Sorry, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. I'm still kind of shaking from what I just seen here. Again, that's where you're gonna find the killer. Lucky's cabin here. You find the three clues, lo three, lo uh, three clues to set you up for the location. I showed you on the map, all the map locations in this video. Hit him with a damn severed head and now we're off. There goes his location and we're going to the sheriff's office. To definitely get this man to be hung and be hanged because this guy is no innocent guy, man. His mama knew it. And now we know it. 
you don't know his name, but you've seen his face, he looked kind of a normal dude. He didn't look that creepy or crazy to me, but you never know. I tell you right now, you never know what the hell's going on out there. So after a well-aimed severed head to his head in a punch to the face, we got him. We're going to turn him in. See what the last part of this mystery is going to be. I gotta say, this guy, um, it's a piece of work, man. A piece of work. We're gonna make sure he pays for his crimes. Where we started is where we're gonna leave off. We started here in Valentine. We're gonna leave off here in Valentine. So, no name killer. We're gonna see what happens here. Take him to the sheriff's office. I mean, obviously, he's gonna go to jail. And he should be. Get the death penalty, which is back in the days is ha hanging. At the sheriff's desk, alright. Fella Ben. Ben. <sighs> Nothing nice. A lot of folk gone missing over the past few years. And this sick son of a bitch. He ain't right in the head. That's so. Head on over to the cellar of that broke down shack on the road to the falls. falls. See for yourself. See for yourself. Okay. okay, come on. You'll find everything you need there, bro. Edmund. Edmund Lowry Jr. Edmund Lowry Jr. Yeah, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Sure. No, you are a frightening fella. Well, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. Now I'll get you a lawyer, don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. Oh! I'm gonna say he I'ma shoot his ass. Oh shit, he's still eating them? I shot him in the head. You alright, bruh? Damn. Thank you, my lord. What a monster! Like I said, have someone head up to his cabin. Think he's killed quite a few. Uh, oh, there's a lot of sick bastards out there. Show sure is. Right here, here, here's some money for your trouble. Thank you, sheriff. Now we gotta get this body out of here. And there you go. Complete American dreams. We have solved the mystery. I'm still here. To save me. What a mess. I'm out of here. Damn. You were trying to bite his face off. When you're done, come back with a mop. You might be a bloodthirsty monster, Mrs. Swan, but you kinda got a soft spot for you. like that anyway there you go mystery solved we have turned in we have killed apparently because he wasn't going down he wasn't going down like that the serial killer that was terrorizing the countryside here near valentine this was your boy flexi seven with a murder mystery red dead murder mysteries episode one again feel free to fast forward rewind this video to find and screenshot the locations to those three clues leading up to the last clue that puts the pieces of the you get the map pieces to put them together sorry about stuttering and it'll show you the way to lucky's cabin again get those first three clues in any order and you will find your way thanks for watching make sure you tune in for the next Red Dead Mystery, which we're going to be looking for the Saint Denis Vampire. And that's coming up next. So hit that like and subscribe. Make sure to um, check out my playlist, Red Dead Redemption 2, for a lot more Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. This is your boy Flexi7. Make sure to holla at me. And peace out.